How's it going guys? Just a quick PSA for you all. First of all, you're still going to be getting your daily dose of Wi-Fi battles from me. That's not going to change. However, I did make a second channel. On this channel, I'll be covering all Nintendo games as they come out and similar N Nintendo-esque games as well. For example, we're currently covering Little Kitty Big City and Princess Peach Showtime. If you're interested in seeing me play other games apart from Pokemon, then be sure to go check out the new channel and join me on this new journey. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're on battle versus Corn Dog in the underused tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now. And if you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, then make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. With that all being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Corn Dog. So they're going to lead off with... <laughs> and the battle begins. Ogapan as we lead off with Rotom Wash. So good, good lead on their behalf. That's going to definitely put my Rotom Wash at a disadvantage. So I'm going to have to switch out um, naturally, as you would expect. So what can I go into here? I'm leaning towards the Breloom. I think Breloom is a really good switch here. It can take both stabs just fine. Wait, is, does Grass resist Grass? I think it does, doesn't it? Because Grass resists Grass, Water resists Water, Fire resists Fire. That makes sense, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So they go for a Taunt. Stopping our Rotom from potentially going for a trick or something like that. Um, but that's that's not going to work for my good old Breloom over here. So looking at their team, I would say they probably switch into Skeledurge here. So I am going to bob this thing in the face of Rock Tomb. They do withdraw the Ogre Pond as expected. Are they going to go into the Skeledurge though? Toxapex comes in. We're going to lower the speed of Toxapex, which is nice. Um, as we go for that Rock Tomb, there we go. No damage, but we do lower the speed, which is always nice. Um, so we could go for that Technician Boosted Loaded Dice Boosted Bullet Seed right now. Since Rock Team did a decent bit of chip. But I'm leaning more towards the switch out. So I think they're going to go for a Toxic here. Um, or they could go for a Toxic Spikes. I think my best bet is to go into Rotom though. So I'm going to switch out my Breloom real quick into Rotom. Now you might be thinking, but that's a Water type. Breloom's a Grass type. No, it's part Poison if you didn't know. Which means it res it's neutral to grass. So um, they do go for an infestation, which is great for us because we basically we get a free vault switch off. <laughs> because pretty much what can happen with the infestation is it keeps you in, it locks you in. But if you go for a switching move like vault switch or U turn, you can get out of there. So that's you know fine. Um, so we'll go for a vault switch right now. They mo I don't think they'll switch out. I think they'll s stay in. No, they do withdraw the Toxapex. Actually, that makes sense. Probably going to go Mamoswine, right? Or Titar. Mandibuzz. Okay, Mandibuzz is great for us. If we can weaken that thing, that'd be great. So we go for a Volt Switch on the switch into Mandibuzz. Get some nice damage off, which is great. From that damage, I can tell that they are probably going to be some sort of um, physically defensive variant because that did a lot of damage. We are specially defensive Rotom, so that's to be expected, you know? So uh, I'm leaning towards Gengar with a Dazzling Gleam, Terra Fairy maybe, or we can go Braviary. Braviary is weak to the Dark type moves. Um, so I might not do that. I think my best bet is probably Scizor into the U-turn. I think I will go with the Scizor play. So we'll bring in Scizor real quick, like so. And uh, we'll go straight for a U-turn. I don't see any reason not to go for a U-turn here. Um, if they roost, they don't. They go for a foul play, which is gonna sting. Oh, I stung quite a bit, but we get a U-turn off, which is going to do a nice chunk of damage to them. And then we switch out. So now we can bring in the Braviary. Uh, Braviary can come in and air slash this thing if we want it to. Or we can bring in the Rotom and Volt switch again. Either or. Either or. Um, so I'm leaning towards... So what did we do here? So if... if they out, No, they didn't outspeed us with that. I think Rotom outspeed. So I'm going to go for a Volt switch to finish this thing off. If they switch out, which they might do... It's not the end of the world. So, it's again, it's, it's not the end of the world if they switch out. We get a free Volt Switch off, pretty much. If they bring in Mamoswine, we just Hydro Pump. So, I think we get to go for a Volt Switch here. And they either stay in and let it go down and lose their Defogger. So, if we get Stealth Rocks up, that'd be amazing. Or, they switch out into the Mamoswine. Mamoswine comes in. And we don't have to worry about this Mamoswine with our uh, Rotom. We can just Hydro Pump it in the face. So, what I'm going to do here is... Um, I am going to go for a Hydro Pump. I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking, you know what? Other than the Tox Specs, nothing really wants to take a Hydro Pump. And even then, it can just Volt Switch on the Tox Specs. So we'll go for a Hydro Pump. There's no reason not to. They go for a Trail Blaze, which is a really good move for them to go for there because that's going to do over half to us. They do lose some health from the Life Orb, though, as if we hit this Hydro Pump, we do. This should KO the Mammoth Swine. 
as it does. So Mammoth Swine does go down, which is amazing. Mammoth Swine out of the way. Mammoth Swine, I want to use Mammoth Swine on my next team, I think. So um, that's, that's just random thoughts. So in comes Ogapon. Ogapon is a good switch. It's like I said, it can go for a Horn Leech or whatever it wants to go for. I am going to go back into Breloom. I know they might predict this and go for a U-turn, but they might not have U-turn since they have Taunt. Um, so I'm pretty confident my uh, Breloom can take a hit from this thing, no problem. Um, so knowing that Toxpex is their go-to switch here, they go for a Spikes. Spikes is a good play. Spikes is a real good play. Um, so that Mandibuzz, do we think it's Heavy Duty Boots? I'm wondering if it's Heavy Duty Boots. So I'm going to go for a Bullet Seed here. I don't see any reason not to go for a Bullet Seed. They do withdraw the Ogapon. Are they going to go Toxapex again? If they go Toxapex, I want to see how much damage this Bullet Seed does. Toxapex comes in. That's great. So with Toxapex in, let's see how much this Bullet Seed does. There we go. There's one. A crit. That's nice. But I want to see how much the normal one's doing. A crit again? Two crits in a row? Watch, get three crits. No, no, no free crits. No free crits. But if we can hit five times, four times. Four times it did 50%. Is it worth trying again? Or is it worth going for a Swords Dance? Because they might go for an Infestation. Let's go for a Swords Dance. They go for a Baneful Bunker! We get a free Swords Dance with Breloom! Who said Breloom was rubbish now that it can't use Spore? Let's go for a Swords Dance real quick. Uh, if you're wondering why it can't use Spore, basically I'm playing by Smogon rules here. Um, Smogon has banned sleeping moves, like Spore and stuff like that. Rest is still alright because it's self-inducing sleep. But when you, you know, Spore and stuff like that is banned. So anyway, let's go for a Bullet Seed at plus two now. Let's see what they have to take care of this Breloom. I don't think they have anything to take a hit other than the Skeledurge. So they're going to withdraw the Toxapex. Are they going to go into the Skeledurge? Mandibuzz. They're going to lose their Mandibuzz? But if we get Stealth Rocks up... I'm, I'm really hoping Braviary can do something in this game. We just need to get rid of that t -tar. So we take out the Mandibuzz with the Bullet Seed, which is great. Breloom looking fine. <laughs> Skeledurge, the Gourmet comes in. This thing's a threat, that's for sure. Um, I do want to keep my Breloom. I don't want it to get burned, that's for sure. So I'm going to go for the Rotom switch. I don't want it to get burned, I, but at the same time, they're probably going to go for a Torch Song, but Rotom's still the best switch in here. So we withdraw Luffy the Breloom, and we're going to go into our nice and clean half-health Rotom Wash, like so. They do go for a Will-O-Wisp. Like, Rotom's not bothered about the Will-O-Wisp too much. Now, do we go for a Hydro Pump or do we go for a Vault Switch? I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking their best switch in here is going to be the Ogre Pump. Probably. So do we go for a Vault Switch? I think we probably go for a Vault Switch, personally. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for a Vault Switch. I think Vault Switch is fine. We don't actually need the Stealth Rocks now that we've um, taken out the Mandibus and, and the uh, other one, the Mammoth Wine, because I, I was worried about the Mammoth Wine being Focus Sashed. So we go for a Vault Switch. They actually stay in, probably to go for a Hex to finish us off. So we're going to have to withdraw real quick. And I think the best Pokemon for me to go into is probably the Gengar. No, no, not the Gengar. That's a bad play, Jack. Bad play, bad play. So what's better? I'd say Donphan's not too bad. We can get the Stealth Rocks up. We can't do anything in return. Skeletor is a problematic Pokemon for me. Scizor could be really useful against the Ogapon and the Tyranitar if they're the last ones left. So I'm leaning towards the Gengar. I am going to go Gengar. Gengar can take a Hex, no problem. And we could Curse Body it, which would be nice. We're floating! Floating Gengar is back! But we're hit by Spike still. They go for a Slack Off, which is interesting. So they were expecting a Hydro Pump there, which is really good for us. So what I can do now is I can go for a Trick, although if they go into Ogre Pond, it'll negate the Trick. I think I go for a... I think I go for a Shadow Ball. And um, there we go. They stay in. We go for a Shadow Ball. See how much damage it does. Skeletor takes about 50%, which is great. They go for a Hex. That is, of course, going to do loads of damage to us, but not enough to KO us as we get the Cursed Body, which is great. So Gengar floating there is wild. I love the, like, random floating animations they get. It's, it's so cool. So um, with Gengar in, and then on Death's Door, let's go for a Shadow Ball regardless, because they probably bring the T-Tar in. They don't. They let the Skeletor go down to a Shadow Ball. They probably they don't realize we're Scarf, do they? Because Gengar naturally outspeeds Skeledurge. So they don't know we're Scarfed. So they might be worrying about the Focus Blast on the T-Tar, which makes sense. I think Toxpex, no, Tyranitar comes in now. So T-Tar comes in, gets the Sandstream up, which is all well and good. Now we have to switch out. I'm leaning towards sacking the Rotom here to a knockoff. Pursuit's not in the game, so I don't have to worry about that at least. <laughs> That's always nice. 
Uh, so we're going to go into Bosch the Rotom Wash, like so. They go for a Dragon Dance. Oh, God. We let himself a Dragon Dance. That ain't good. That is not good. They haven't Terra Jay either. So Mock Punch from Breloom might KO. If we get enough damage off with this Hydro Pump. If we can get damage off with this Hydro Pump, which I don't think we can because we're going to get knocked off. We gotta try and burn it actually. We gotta try and burn it. We gotta try and burn it. Knockoff comes through. That takes us out. So now this Titar could make a really good comeback for them. Really could make a good comeback for them. So Gengar out speeds. Gengar out speeds. So we should go into getting no because spikes. We should go into Don Fan. We should go into Don Fan, really. So I am gonna go Don Fan. Don Fan is able to wall this Tyranitar to heck him back. I am going to go for the Rapid Spin because I don't want the I don't want my Gengar being KO'd just by switching in. Gengar could still be useful. So I am going to Rapid Spin away. They are going to Terrastalize. Oh no, please don't be Terra flying. Because then we literally can't touch you. It's Terra flying. It's Terra flying. We can't touch it with Don Fan. We can Ice Shard. That's great and all. Ice Shard and then we can Bullet Punch with Scizor and then we can Mock Punch. They go for another Dragon Dance. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right. We can handle this. No problem. No problem. Oh, we go for a rapid spin, which is still going to do some damage, which is nice. Are they leftovers though? Are they leftovers? That's the real question. They're buffed by the sandstorm. They lose the special defense boost, which is nice. They aren't leftovers, which is great. We go for an ice shard now and then the rocky helmet damage as well. We should be priming them up nicely for scissor to finish them off. Um, so they go for that knockoff to get rid of the item. They knock off our Rocky Helmet, but they do get hurt by it at the same time, um, which is great. And then they get buffed by the Sandstorm once again. So we are racking up damage. I think Sizzle can come in and bullet punch this thing to death, um, which is great. So Ice Shard comes through. Titar goes for the EQ. That's going to take us out. No problems there. Donphan did its job. It rapid spin this backs away. It weakened the Tyranitar as much as it could. And the Sandstorm does subside now. So now we can bring Scizor in and we can just go for a bullet punch. So we'll bring Crimsonite in real quick. There we go. And we will bullet punch. And maybe I should have set up Stealth Frox with that Don Fan to break the Sturdy on the Ogre Pond. Maybe. Maybe that could have been good. So they withdraw the T-Tar, which is interesting. And they're going to go into the Toxpex and load out. No doubt. Toxpex. Yeah, we go. So Toxpex does come in. We go for a BP, which is going to do Nout. Now we have to switch out. I'm going to go Gengar. And the reason I'm going Gengar is because, A, we don't really need Gengar too much. You know, we don't need it too much. We've got our two priority users on the team. Um, but what I'm actually interested in doing here is letting this thing go down. And uh, the reason being is because I want to get Braviary in to finish this thing off. If Braviary can come in and finish this thing off, then we'll be golden. So I'm going to bring in the Braviary now. Now that the T-Tar is Terrid... We're in a very good position. So let's go to the Braviary and we'll go for an Agility. Is pretty much what I'm going for here. So Braviary comes in. We go for that Agility. There is nothing stopping us now. There's nothing stopping us now. Other than the Ogre Pond with its Sturdy. But I don't think they'll think about that straight away. So they withdraw Toxapex, which is fine. Are they going to go Ogre Pond? Tyranitar. Tyranitar is an interesting one. So it is Terra Flying. They get the Sand Stream up, which is going to help the Ogre Pond because it means the Ogre Pond can get a special defense boost. But I'm pretty confident if we surprise Terra them with Terra Dragon, we'll be all right. So we're going to get buffed up by that Sandstorm, which is unfortunate, and so are they. We now outspeed everything on the team. Let's go for a Psychic. Let us go for a Psychic. Oh, please, Braviary, finish this team off so I can put you in the thumbnail. I haven't been gagging for this thumbnail. I really want to make a Braviary thumbnail and a Hisui one. Like, I like shiny Hisui one, but it doesn't really work well for the thumbnails. It looks too dark. So I'm like, normal one looks amazing. So let's see how this plays out. I'm hoping we can get through this. And um, the surprise terror might help us out here. They do bring in the Ogre Pond. There it is. The Ogre Pond's in. No Sturdy Broken or anything like that. We Terror Dragon and we Psychic. We Terror Dragon and we Psychic. Pretty much all we can do because they're going to go for an Ivy Cudgel, which we should live is Terra Dragon because we have got the, uh, you know, some natural bulk to us. We should live it and we should be able to hopefully take this thing out. I'm hoping it doesn't take us down to health enough, to, um, you know, so that Sandstorm takes us out. 
Um, but I'm sure it won't. So Ogre Pond does take 50%, which is nice. Ivy Cudgel comes through in the sand. Doesn't matter in the sand. <sighs> that ain't good. I think we've got one more in us. I think we've got one more in us. I think we live on one HP after the next sandstorm. So we go for that psychic. I think we have got one HP more. I think we've got one HP more. Come on. Go for it. We do. We do. Two HP. Even better. Two HP. But the Toxpex is going to have... No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What we do is here, we switch out. We switch out into our Scizor. We switch out into Scizor. Because we need Braviary to take out the Toxpex. But we need the Sandstorm gone. So we switch out into Scizor to stall out the Sandstorm. Because we don't need the agility to outspeed the Toxpex, right? Sandstorm subsides. That's great. Let's go for a knockoff first. Let's just go keep going for a knockoff real quick and let it take us out. Knockoff does a nice bit of damage. We are um, Trace Bandit after all. They go for that Insta Station, which is going to do minimal damage, but it's fine. And then probably going to go ahead and skip this next part of the battle because it is literally just going to be infestation. Infestation, 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 pretty much. So we'll go for another knockoff. There we go. Knockoff comes through. Actually, knockoff's doing enough damage. They go for a Haze. Why Haze? I think they've run out of options at this point. Do they not have recover? I don't know. But anyway, Infestation is going to go ahead and take us down in the next couple of turns. So I'll skip to that. Okay, so Infestation takes out Sizzle here. They have managed to recover pretty much back to full HP. But it's fine. Braviary with Sheer Force and a Life Orb with Stab Psychic should take this thing out. We've got no more Hazards. We Rapid Spin the Hazards. And if we didn't Rapid Spin the Hazards, this wouldn't be happening right now. So let's go for a Psychic. We do not need an Agility to outspeed. We go for that Psychic. Please KO the Toxapex. <gasps> Clean KO from the Braviary. It's a critical hit. Don't know whether it mattered or not because it is Life Orb Sheer Force boosted on a high special attack. A very high special attack. So might not have mattered. Might have done. I don't know. Who cares? We defeated them. GG Corndog. That was a pretty fun one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know in the comments section if you do use it. Let me know how it goes. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.